three, two, one. <laughs> everybody welcome welcome youtube to fragrance friday i'm your host as always paul as the esquire due to the quarantine i am uh in my closet uh the usual location of jay google's closet will be uh skyped or zoomed uh via technology we've also got rcw down in the rock room so uh let's give a quick tour of the uh stuffy king tut suite master closet the jungle room uh i'm self-quarantining so i'm not down in the jungle room because i am still going to work i work in logistics so i'm staying away from the rest of my family are you uh, living in your closet yeah pretty much no i i have one I'm just living in the King Tut suite in a hole by myself. I've got uh, most of my fragrances are actually uh, from re rejects from your guys' collection. Almost every one of these bottles uh, you guys have given away. So I got uh, Creed, well, Silver Mountain mean, Water, oh, yeah. Black. Is that the one with the ropes with the Maui Gym, isn't it? No, that is the one I bought. I bought this one. That is the Sail That's Away with me, the St. Bart. Bart's. Uh, Gas, Fresco. I bought this one, Escape. This is a really old bottle of uh, Big Daddy 80s uh, Power Noir. Scent. Oh, Jacquard, the classic. Cedar, du Cedar Dubois, I love it. This one's my favorite, the French one. I got Coach. We got uh, True Religion in the back. When, when's the last time uh, you wore Jacquard? Paris. <laughs> oh, I wear it every once in a while, man. It's still got an interesting scent. Uh, and the Paris is great too. The, That's from the early course, 2000s. When it, and of course, the G Shock for uh, whenever there's an apocalypse. The G Shock's the only watch to survive. Uh, let's throw it over to uh, Jay Goobles here. Uh, Jay, what uh, what's going on in your closet? YouTube, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. Sitting in the closet, uh, quarantining. Staying away from people, even though I still have to work, it sucks. But here to talk some fragrance, so I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jay Gules are both kind of like in logistics, uh, supply chain. So we both got to get out there in the world, unfortunately. Yes, uh, we are on the front line. Jay, we need a uh, we need a thank, wristwatch thank you check. For your, thank you for your service. Oh, hey, no problem. Uh, today I am wearing because I haven't worn it in forever, and I just needed a reason to wear it. It's my Hamilton Valiant that uh, my girlfriend bought for me. My first automatic movement watch, and uh, I love it. Let's see if you guys can get it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can oh, you wow. see it? Oh, I see quarantine. Oh, that, that, is, uh, that is a special watch from a special lady. A special lady, yes. Uh, all my sports. She never knew where your, uh, your, your over watch here. hobby was going to go to. I don't think she thought it was going to go to this type of level. She may not no. have gotten you that watch if she knew it was going to be this obsessive with it. When well, I got this watch, I had no idea the rabbit hole it was going to send me down. Now, since we're on the subject of your watch collection, let's really quick update the fans. And I I'm dying to know, did you actually close the deal on the Manta and the Zinn? You end up selling both, right? They are both gone. Oh, wow. I'm going to get the Howard Stern clap right there. Oh, I'm, I'm going nice. to miss them. I already miss them. I already Wait, miss them. They're actually shipped. You have closed the deal. They are shipped. My Manta is shipped, and the Zinn will be shipped tomorrow wow now what well you know what that's i'm not gonna even talk about it we're gonna save it for the unboxing when you eventually buy whatever uh you're gonna buy with it and, well, and, and uh, when when would you possibly make be making that purchase oh gosh it's you know we gotta wait for this coronavirus thing to blow over before i even consider doing anything so it's probably gonna be quite a while now you so and you also have listed your Nomos, which we just did a celebrity <laughs> guest unboxing of, and you already got it for sale. 
Oh, I know. I'm crazy. But yes. Uh, hey, it's the life of watch collecting. You never know how long something's going to last. But uh, outside of this and my uh, Aquaterra, everything uh, could go at any time. Okay, let's go over to RCW for his wristwatch check, and then we'll go right into his quarantine fragrance recommendation. Okay, well, I'm in my uh, virtual uh, basement room. I'm actually sitting in my recliner wearing sunglasses in my living room, feeling like an asshole, but that's, that's all right. Hey, and, it's Fragrance um, Friday. That's what we yeah, do. Uh, yeah, I'm in, I'm in my living room, and I feel like only rock stars and assholes uh, you know, wear uh, sunglasses inside. Anyways, I have a uh, Timex Explorer. Oh, get uh, in the picture. There, there, there we go. How's that? Right there. there. I'm go. not. Uh, I'm, I'm not used to uh, you know getting the, the the good the good view of the watches like you guys are. You guys know how to do it because you know you're professionals and I'm an amateur. Oh, uh, uh, wristwatch check. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the uh, Timex. It's yeah, a uh, think, leather uh, band, very soft, very soft leather band, which I like, and I'm not a fan of the uh, the leather bands, but you know I love this one. And for qu quarantining. Expedition, uh, all the way. It's a, it's a work and watch. Yeah, I believe our. Uh, I often talk about our friend that's transitioning to a cowboy. Uh, he's a fan of the channel. He was also wearing a Timex today. It's an expedition. Every time you go outside now. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I should have put on my expedition. It would have been a good day. Sure. But I feel like the G-Shock, if it can, if it can survive what Keanu went through in speed, it's a good quarantine watch. So oh, what? What is the fragrance, RCW, uh, for your pick for well, quarantine? I hope you're not going to be disappointed because it's not a niche fragrance. It's, uh -huh. be a, it's a regular fragrance that a lot of people uh, purchase that you can get pretty much anywhere. But it's kind of light. It's not too strong. It's a very fresh smell. And I'm going to go with the uh, Polo Black. You know, I think it's a perfect indoor fragrance. Lift it it's up. not too heavy. Lift it up a little bit. I'm not getting it for some reason. There we it's go. Not, it's not too heavy. It's a very fresh feeling. I'm not sure exactly what type of uh, sensor in it because I didn't, I, I didn't give it a test out hey, RCW. before we started. RC, but I'm hey, sure, John, RCW, you can tell me. Give it a spray. What? Give it a spray. We'll give it a little spray. All right. We'll do a little spray. That sounds good. John, do you happen to know the no, uh, Jay Goobles? See, I'm, I'm smelling know. a little, definitely smelling some citrus. I'm, I am not sure. I don't exactly, you know, I never owned the fragrance. I've only smelled it a few times. I'm not exactly sure what's in it. Well, I didn't do my research on it, but I'm going to say it's definitely a citrusy, uh, fresh smell. And I don't know what else would go with a fresh smell. Well, there could Jay be Google, floral, what would go with a fresh smell? There could be I florals like and citruses and different fruits but hey you know if you like it it's clean it's fresh makes you have comfort does it comfort you through. on this time in this time of craziness these crazy times it it smells uh okay. you know fresh. Uh, i feel like i should be out <laughs> well just pretend okay jay uh let's get a pick from you what, what would be your quarantine scent whoa well that's tough but you know what they say ginger has a calming effect on people. So, oh, this is very good. I'm going with my Dior Ohm Sport. This is uh, got notes of lemon and ginger m mainly is what you get. This is a very old formulation that uh, they've changed multiple times. And uh, I got this way back and it's still the original. And uh, this stuff's awesome. Don't you have two bottles of that? Is that the one you were worried about running out? So you got two bottles of it? No, that is my Dior Ohm Intense. This is Dior Ohm Sport. Lift it, it up a little like bit. Used a lot of get it. Okay, camera's picking it up now. Okay, let's go over to me for my uh, scent. I'm also not going with the niche uh, fragrance niche. I'm going with uh, a very light scent. This is uh, – hold on, I'm trying to switch camera angles here. This is uh, Victoria's Secret. Very sexy oh, for him. Oh, yeah. Very wow. sexy. Oh, yeah. It's fun to go into the store. To get I don't it. think they did. I think it's they still make that. Now. 
No, I, I hope they still make it. It's a great scent. It uh, it's very light. It does not last long. That is my only complaint. It is a great fragrance. I get compliments on it, but it does not last. What kind of and hints does it have? Uh, let's check. You know, as a uh, tradition, Stuffy always puts on the fragrance that we talk about <laughs> for the show. So hold on. Let me set the camera down here. Get the cap off. Also, we didn't talk about I'm in a robe. I mean, let's hope there's no wardrobe malfunctions uh, during this broadcast. Oh, hey. <laughs> By the way, be... wardrobe hey, it, it'd, be a treat for every, it'd be a treat for all of the stuffy viewers if uh, there was a malfunction, for sure. Hey, speaking of wardrobe malfunctions and things getting out of place, did you guys see the last episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm? No, I did not start watching oh, the new uh, season yet. See it. Oh, you need to see it. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. Speaking of TV, I mean, I think the whole world is at home watching uh, Tiger King on Netflix. I mean, it's been blowing up all over the internet and Facebook. So I won't do any spoilers here, uh, but I know the three of us have all watched uh, Joe Exotic well, and. Uh, oh my Tiger. God! Hey, we're we're normal, uh, you know, compared to uh, the Tiger King just doing this. So I was a little apprehensive of doing this, but after watching Tiger King and us three doing this, I mean, we're this is this is vanilla. Hey, uh, Stuffy, I'm thinking Stuffy for mayor, you know, yeah. maybe maybe governor. I'll be a running mate. Governor okay. Stuffy? Well, okay, yeah. I'm going to give one spoiler. I take it back. I'm going to give one spoiler. There's a scene where Joe Exotic claims someone sprayed cologne on his shoes to make the Tigers attack him. Do you think that is possible? Do you think <laughs> I don't, with your yeah, cologne I, knowledge, Jay Goobles, that a Tiger would attack cologne? All right, first off, no one on that dirty show was wearing cologne. <laughs> second of all, I could see a tiger being like, what the hell is this? So, so they'd be curious and they'd sniff. And I, I could see would, that. Would you, would you put it past Carol Baskin to infiltrate that zoo to do something like that? Just to spray uh, fragrance <laughs> on his boots? Uh, you know, I don't know. Her background is pretty sketchy. Well, yeah. she did hey there, kill her cats husband. and kittens. Uh, I, I, I thought she was the real villain of that show. I don't care uh, that Joe ended up going to jail. Carol was the villain, man. <laughs> well, Joe's kind of a dirtbag as well. Yeah, but he's the kind of dirtbag that you like. Well, he's just on. such hey, a train wreck. Hey, we were he, giving up too much. You said spoiler alert. So, yeah, no more. You're right. Cut we're, off. we're giving away way too much, but uh, – yeah. I'm sure, I, like I, I said, most say, of the he world is the least biggest. I feel like he's the least biggest scumbag out of all of them. Hey, you guys go out Correct. and watch it. Tiger King. Netflix. There's also a podcast uh, called Joe Exotic. Uh, you can download everywhere you get your podcasts. So uh, there's a whole bunch of material out about this guy. Well, I think that's all we got for this week. Uh, Again, I've been working. I've been working crazy overtime, so I apologize for the lack of videos. But here we go. It's Sunday, and we're just now doing Fragrance Friday. I still have a Watch Scenario Wednesday that I've only half edited. Uh, I've got most of the material edited, so I'll get that up this Wednesday. But uh, stay safe, YouTube. Wash your hands. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, RCW. Thanks, Jay Google. Hey, thanks for having me. Much appreciated. Yeah. Thank you. I love uh, – I love technology that we're able to still stay safe and uh, and talk. YouTube out. Yeah. See you guys. Thanks for the invite. <laughs>